In baseball, it's very common for a team to be given a nickname. The 70s Reds were called the Big Red Machine. In the late 1920s, the Yankees were the Murder's Row, and etc. It's different from the nickname that the 1930s St. Louis Cardinals were. They were called the Gas House Gang. Now, what's different is that the nicknames are usually given to tell the strength of the team or the style of how they play the game. For example, the Big Red Machine was named because of their strong, consistent lineup with Joe Morgan, Pete Rose, and Johnny Bench. The Murder's Row name was due to all the homers Abe Ruth and Luke Gehrig hit. The Gas House Gang, though, was named literally on their style when playing a game. The story of how the Cardinals got the name came from when they played a game in New York against the Yankees. All the players came on the field with used uniforms from the other night. The uniforms were rain-soaked, dirty, and smelled. The men on the team were not in the best of shape, and many didn't shave. There were also players who had southern accent and spoke improper English. The main event the opening day of the World Series of 1930. This was all in contrast to the Yankees. Greg. Greg. Today, Today, I consider, I consider myself, myself the luckiest, the luckiest man, man on the face, on of, the face earth. of the earth. After that day, the media had coined the name, the Gas House Gang, to the Cardinals. But the way they looked on the field didn't replicate how they played on the field. The Gas House Gang refers to the era of the 1930 to 34. Between that time, they had won three National League pennants and two World Series, which was in 1931 and 1934. The 1934 team was the more impressive year because they were not the favorites to win that year. That year, they had a 16-game winning streak, which continued to be a club record for the longest time. They had won 95 games, winning 20 of their last 25, and eventually beating the Tigers in the World Series. Players and people associated with the club should not go unrecognized. Members of the Gas House Gang are Ducky Medwick, brothers Dizzy Dean and Paul Dean, Ripper Collins, Leo DeRocher, and Pepper Martin. In charge of the team was player manager Frankie Frisch. Frisch was traded to the Cardinals in 1926 for Rogers Hornsby. Frisch continued to play until the 1937 season and managed the club till the 1938 season. The man responsible for putting together the team was general manager Branch Rickey. Ranch Ricky became the executive of the Cardinals right after coming out of the war. Ranch saw the importance of scouting and developing from within, which led to the success that they had. Ricky's influence is still taught throughout many clubs to this day. Baseball we all know well from the history of it. Now we'll keep creating nicknames for the teams we love to watch. Whether it's positive or negative, Or if it's created by the fans, the players, or the media. Just like the Gas House Gang was, the nicknames that are given just tell only part of the story.